What up, y'all? So today we're going fishing. It's for outdoors here. Going out fishing with my brother. We're in the Bronco right now. We just got to the spot. Hopefully we'll get out there and get on some fish. It's pretty windy today, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but maybe throw a spin bait, try to bait. Maybe a Texas rig. This is a pond that's known for a lot of big fish, so I'm just gonna get out there and see what we can do. Maybe I'll teach y'all some things today, so stay tuned. That's all for now. All right, guys, the pond looks pretty pressured this morning. This is one where like, a lot of people go here. There's probably one, two, three. There's five people fishing here besides us, me and my brother. So I don't know how we're gonna do, but I'm gonna go to the other side and see if they're on beds. Cause they're usually on beds around this time of year. This side's not doing very good, but that side has a lot of wind blowing like towards that bank. So it might not be good for recording, but it's good for fish. So I'm gonna go over there, see what we can do. Probably gonna give it like 30 minutes here, and if we don't catch anything, we'll probably leave. Got the largey lookers on, boys. You know what that means? That means beds. All right, y'all, I'm gonna tie on a swim jig. Cause I'm thinking it'll be good for flipping, and it'll be good for the beds, for the beds, so. That's my move right now. Alright, so I'm going to put this swing impact in the bluegill flash because they're popping up on bait fish. Usually I do like an ultra vibe speed crawl. But for right now, I'm going to use this as my trailer. It's a little 4 inch Kai Tech. It'll pair pretty good with this. You always want to take your bait just to, I don't mean, I should already know this, but pretty much every time I just look where it's going to be and where the tail's going to be, and you just go backwards to see where you need, how you need to put it on the hook. Usually, like the lighter side on these is where you need to put it through. I'm just going to put it through. Look like that. You're gonna pull it through whenever you get to like the right length. And you wanna stab that big keeper on there. That way that ain't going nowhere.
Oh, y'all, yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys how to take line off one reel and put it on another one. So right now I got backing on this reel. And I'm gonna take the line off this reel. And I'm just gonna spin it right on here. So I'm gonna tie a knot on this, tie these together. And I'll show you guys once I tie that knot. All right, so once I got this knot tied, I got the two light, that's a pretty skinny knot. I'll show you guys that tie this on another video. Right now I'm just trying to get it done, so. I got this knot tied, now I'm just gonna reel. I'm just gonna click this bolt. And I can just reel it up. Right now we're just messing around, chilling. Find something to do. Met up with the boys. We got Caleb with me now. Go Caleb. Caleb, say what's up. So we're all just fishing. Maybe catch some snook at this spot. So once we're done, I'll let you all know. If I catch you later. We're doing a little bit of an air rifle challenge, see if we can hit this cup over here. Hi y'all, so I have to pee really bad, but I'm going to Bass Pro right now. We've got the Gold Bronco, and we're going into Bass Pro, so I'll pick up the camera a little bit in there. I got to replace this rod that was broken this morning when I woke up, so I don't know how it broke, but hopefully I'll get a replacement right now, so that's what we're doing. So I'll see you, I'll pick you guys back up in a minute. Hey y'all, I'm just stringing a rod up right now. We're coming out fishing again. Hopefully we don't catch too many, because I only have 11 minutes of recording left. So I'm just gonna clip in wherever I catch a fish. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna do a time lapse and then whenever I catch a fish, I'm gonna switch it to regular. 
save my storage so right now i'm rigging these rods up i just bought at bass pro i just got this new rod it's one of the st croix bass x they're pretty nice i got the six foot eight medium and then it has an extra fast tip and i like that because it's really good for finesse but it's also good for heavier stuff as well because it's a good medium you know what i'm saying so you have a good difference and also with that fast tip it's easier to work like really fast action subtle like like you do with a finesse it's easier to do that fast pop so that's why i got that i'm just rigging the lines up i'm just rigging line up them and then once i'm done with that i'll get back to you guys we're at the next spot by the way i don't know if i told you guys that yet but went to chick-fil-a did some stuff went to bass pro you guys saw that so now i'm here i'll show you guys the baits i got i got some packs of cinco's just for four and fourth an inch cinco's and i got a bunch of hooks these are three offset round bins and then i got some ultra vibe speed crawls these are like my all-time favorites for fishing beds any color will do just whenever you're fishing beds just flip that in there and it's like the perfect action and it just entices all the bass to bite it so anyway that's my experience with them and i'll get back to you guys whenever i catch a fish so peace first fish of the day pretty decent sized fish bring them over to another day Fishing my new rod feels good so far. I'll get you guys in a few minutes, I'll pick it back up. All right, boys, I just got one with the rod. This rod's holding up pretty good, just like my other one. Look at that flex in the rod, it's all good. It's a decent fish. I found out where all the fish are sitting at after he caught that one. Most of them are all along this. There's a drop right here on the bank. After you get past that drop, there's a, there's some grass there. So most of the fish are holding to that grass, eating whatever's on the grass. All right, yeah, that's it for now. I'll let you guys know when I get another fish. Just got a freaking bluegill on a wacky rig. Pretty decent sized bluegill right there. Just caught him on one of these. So keep fishing. Okay, we just got another one. It's nighttime now. Trying to get this hook out of home because I don't have any pliers on them. They're all in my bag and they're over there. Did you bring the bag? The way over there. So we have it with us? No, we didn't bring the bag. So way over there, truck. So Okay, got the gut hook out. <laughs> 